Uh, cooling your home during summer can really push up the power bill when you've got to keep banjo cool too. Mm, mm. But experts say many Aussie households are paying hundreds more than they need to. The Sunrise Consumer Correspondent Sean White has been looking at the most cost-effective cooling options. Sean, good morning. Yeah, good morning. I mean, it seems like a a good thing at the time, right? And then the bill rolls in. Oh my God. There are a number of things you can do to remain cool while taking the heat out of scorching bills this summer. When summer hits in Australia, there can be no escape. I am begging you, put the air conditioner on. <laughs> But reaching for the air conditioner can see your power bills rise just as fast as the mercury. In fact, cooling costs can add around 40% to household expenses. So, how to cut bills before the heat hits? Well, to start with, mozo.com.au says now is the time to check your energy plan. Making the switch could slash more than $1,100 from your annual power bill. If it's been a while since you have reviewed or switched energy providers, now is definitely the time to do so. Choosing the right air conditioner is the next big saver. LG Aircon expert Bruce Lee says many people make the mistake of choosing a unit that doesn't fit their room. Well, that means it runs harder and costs you more. For example, you've got a big lounge room, you don't have a small underpowered model because that's going to have to run flat out all day to try and maintain that level. You need a higher powered model and vice versa. If you have a small room, you don't want a big powerful model because that's going to have to have short, sharp cycles. For more savings, consider upgrading your unit. Newer systems are much more energy efficient and that'll save you. Look for a unit with a good star rating. Next, try cooling just the rooms you're using. Close doors and windows to stop air escaping. And don't forget to service your unit, clean those filters and ensure they're running efficiently. And finally, don't blast the system with regular cycles. Keeping it at a steady temperature, it improves efficiency and saves you big. For example, it's 35 degrees outside. Don't set it all the way down to 21. Set it for a comfortable 24, 25 it'd be much more efficient because every degree you go lower adds up to 10% on the running cost. How can they not put the air conditioning on? They're nuts with temperature. While your air con will make the single biggest difference to household temperature, the experts say there's a number of ways to help it out. This will save you having to run it all day and that'll save you money. So close those curtains and shades, keep direct heat out of the house. If you can, open the house up at night when it's cooler. Why is it so hot? In here. Follow these tips this summer and you'll remain cool even as the bills come rolling in. Yeah, Aussies love aircon. I mean, even in Toon Gabby, all the summers I spent there, just kept it running all day. Although my parents paid the bills, so it sort of <laughs> shocked me. It's, yeah. Life's easy when your parents pay all the bills, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, welcome now. to being a grown up. <laughs>